Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and you're watching Paleo 101, where we're talking about fossils, minerals, and everything recorded in the Earth's rocks. Today, I decided to do a brand new segment on Paleo 101 called Fossil of the Month. It is where each month we discuss uh, a fossil or a rock that I pick out and discuss about its geological history and features and its environment. Well, today we're going to be talking about a group of trilobites called the agnostic trilobites. And these are what I like to call the blind guys because these are the blind trilobites. They lived in deep, deep water in Cambrian and in, in Paleozoic oceans um, over 500 to 245 million years ago. They're very, very abundant in Cambrian aged rocks and they're great. They are a great use for geologists to um, determine the age of rocks, which is uh, known as biostratigraphy. And so I have a couple of examples here. Here is a beautiful um, agnostic trilobite. And this one comes from the Conestoga Formation from Wyeth Lake of Alabama. You can see um, that's, a, that's a beautiful looking specimen here. It's not that well preserved, but you can see this is, um, it only has two segments and there would have been some um, it's kind of hard to turn to determine what the head where the head was so this is the head this is the pygenium or tail and the segments would have been in the middle here is a really great specimen this comes from the Wheeler shell formation of um, Delta Utah and this is Paranospis and uh, and Stricta and the, yes this comes from the Wheeler shell formation and this is probably one of the best agnostic trilobites over here is an agnostic trilobite that I discovered in the Conestoga Formation of Northwest Georgia. And just where that circle is there is the fossil itself. So it's quite small. These are the smallest groups of the trilobite class. Here is another from the Conestoga Formation over here. Here it is. That is another great specimen that comes from the Conestoga Formation. And this comes from the uh, Middle Cambrian aged rocks, and this comes from the Upper Cambrian aged rocks. So this is probably about 497 million years old, and this is about 520 million years old. So their age difference is quite, um, it's quite different, but they both lived in the Cambrian. And again, this is the same species. This is Paranospis. Um, this comes from the uh, Conestoga formation as well. So like I said, these animals would have lived in deep, deep water. They're only made up of two two parts. Um, they're made up of the head, the segments in the middle, and then you have the pygenium. And these animals would have been very abundant in the Cambrian age rocks. So I hope to see you later with another video. I'll talk I'll see you soon.